Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. During Disney's Investor Day, it was announced that Lucasfilm would be creating a new series for Disney Plus called The Acolyte. The show is being described as a female-centric mystery thriller that will focus on the emergence of dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era, which just sounds so damn dope. The Acolyte will be written by Russian Doll co-creator Leslie Headland, who will also be serving as showrunner, and Rain Roberts will also be co-developing the series alongside Headland. Since The Acolyte is the Star Wars project I'm most excited about from Lucasfilm, I thought it'd be fun to speculate a little on some things that would be cool to see in the upcoming series. So, let's discuss some potential characters and possibilities for the series. We know that the High Republic began in 300 BBY and ended in 82 BBY, which means that the Acolyte would be taking place roughly 50 years prior to the events of The Phantom Menace, which took place in 32 BBY. Since we know the series will be delving into an emerging dark side power during the waning days of the High Republic, it's a safe bet to assume that we'll be seeing the Sith in one way or another. The series could give Star Wars fans an in-depth look at the Sith of that time that were working in the shadows to facilitate the Sith Great Plan to overthrow the Republic and the Jedi and regain power over the galaxy. Since the series will be female-centric, which female Sith Lords could appear in the Acolyte? As far as I'm aware, there are only a handful of female Sith Lords in the current canon. There's Darth Xana, who is Darth Bane's apprentice, but she most likely wouldn't be alive by the end of the High Republic since Bane died approximately 1,000 years before the events of the Clone Wars, so we can assume Xana died long before the events of the High Republic. There's also the ancient female Sith Lord Darth Phobos, who's also most likely not alive during the final days of the High Republic. The female Sith Lords Darth Noctis, Darth Skyre, and Darth Shah, on the other hand, could potentially be alive during the final days of the High Republic as it hasn't been established in canon when these female Sith Lords were alive or died. There's a possibility that one or more could appear in the Acolyte in one way or another, and any of the canon female Sith Lords could be mentioned or appear as flashbacks at some point during the series. In Legends, there's a bunch of really cool female Sith Lords that were alive during various time periods in the Star Wars timeline that haven't been introduced into canon yet, so maybe some of those characters are brought into canon in the Acolyte. The same could be said for any canon male Sith Lords. Since the Acolyte is going to take place sometime around 82 BB, why, there's a very real possibility that we'll get to see a young Sheev Palpatine as the Sith Lord was born in 84 BBY. If Palpatine were to appear in the series, we could see him as a young child living on Naboo, and there's a possibility that we could also see his Sith Master, the male Mune, Darth Plagueis. If Palpatine were to appear in the Acolyte, we could see how Darth Plagueis discovered Palpatine, how he took him on as an apprentice, and Palpatine's time training as Plagueis' apprentice. How cool would that be? Additionally, other male Sith Lords could appear or be mentioned in the Acolyte, such as Plagueis' master, Darth Tenebris, Darth Tannis, the creator of the superweapon on Malachor that appears at the end of Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, Darth Kaldoth, Darth Momin, Darth Rend, and the slew of other Sith Lords that have been mentioned in canon or even Sith Lords that have yet to cross over from Legends. Aside from giving Star Wars fans an inside look at the Sith working to implement the Sith Great Plan, we could learn more about the relationships and training that took took place between a Sith Master and their apprentice, which would just be so freaking cool. In canon, we haven't gotten a ton of on-screen time devoted to how the Sith train their apprentices, so that's something I'd absolutely love to see in the Acolyte. The Legends novel Plagueis did a fantastic job at showcasing Palpatine and Plagueis' machinations in sowing discord and working to overthrow the Republic and the Jedi, and I'm really excited at the thought that the Acolyte could showcase that as well. As we continue to inch closer and closer to the release of the Acolyte, I'm sure more information will be provided on the story of the series, characters that might be appearing, and so on. The possibilities for this series are bountiful, and I have faith that Headland and Roberts are going to create a bawling ass series. While there hasn't been a ton of information shared with fans just yet on the Acolyte, I'm already super excited for the series to drop, and can't wait to see what Lucasfilm and Disney has in store for us. But what do you guys think? What are you hoping to see in the Acolyte? Let us know down in the comments. If you like this video, please help out the channel by hitting that like button and making sure you subscribe. Follow the channel on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook, all at Dan's on Fandoms. Thanks for watching and stay nerdy.